Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tommy and if you thought that I was crazy in 2022, just wait for this build. You have not seen crazy yet. <laughs> I took a little break, I took a break for like a week and a half. I uh, took a break from uh, from work, actually we had office holidays for two weeks and uh, I thought that I would just, you know, like get home and build, but it was a good idea to actually also take a break from the game as well because once I did I returned back to it energized I returned with more energy and I finally said to myself let's do this build I wanted to do this as an Indoraptor Colosseum in the Arizona desert on the Arizona desert map but uh, after the update when we get all of these wall pieces and all of these brick walls in the game I said to myself that it would be a shame not to use them and of course I would have to use one of the Malta maps. So this is the final product. It only took me like five, 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 five hours to build. <laughs> only, yeah. Uh, um, it was excruciating at times but here you can see me uh, building it. I had to go back and forth i had to uh correct uh, things i had to uh i had to make the paths a little thinner i was using the the, the biggest pass over here but then i had to switch them for the smallest one because these stupid wall pieces just wouldn't uh, if i wanted to have all of these wall pieces up and down all over the Colosseum I had to use the smallest path because the viewing gallery just like wouldn't wouldn't want to be placed it's it's uh, really difficult to explain but you will see it on the video <laughs> and if you have these wall pieces or the fountains in the game you know that sometimes it's just impossible to create anything with these because you have a layout, you have a plan, you have something, and then the game just won't let you put it there. And it's the, you know, like, those are the points when I really <laughs> want to start using mods. Because if this was modded, I could just, you know, like, put it anywhere. But since we are expecting at least two other DLCs and two other updates with it, I said to myself that I would wait and I'm expecting another speed build series which wouldn't be it wouldn't be the best decision for this particular speed build series to do it with mods. I will not tell you why. Still need to work out some details uh, about it, but uh, it's going to be it's going to be very fun. Uh, once I get to it. So these are the paddocks that are at the sides of the Colosseum. It needed to have two uh, openings in the middle. It needed to have like these two corridors that uh, the dinosaurs can uh, get uh, through and uh, basically attack each other. I hate it when my dinosaurs fight, but when I'm building these arenas specifically, or when I was doing the Jurassic Labyrinth and they were supposed to fight, well, I mean, what can you do? <laughs> and um, because it's like, they're my, they're my babies, and it's just like, I, I hate... I hate doing it like this, I hate for them to fight, and this is what I was talking about. The viewing gallery just like wouldn't get there, so I tried the middle path. It worked, but it didn't work, you know, like at other places. So then I had to replace all the paths. I had to replace all the all the walls. Put there, put them there again. It was just it, mm. if I wasn't after you know like my time off. If this was like a regular week, I would just like said like whatever screw this i'm not doing this <laughs> but uh since i was pretty refreshed <laughs> after after those two weeks almost two weeks of basically doing nothing i mean i did some work around the the apartment i you know like did, did some deep clean and then i watched a lot of movies i watched a lot of tv shows i, I spent time with my family i spent time with my uh friends on uh, new year's then i had my friends over and it was just like I finally had some time for myself 
which uh, sometimes you know, like it's it's so important and these these small pieces down there these um these, these brick walls they were preventing me from putting the viewing galleries up there so i had to delete them as well and put them on the to the uh, yeah on the other side of uh, the invisible fence but what i was saying even if you love something it's your hobby or uh, you have something like this you need to take a break from it because after a while it becomes a chore it becomes it's basically my second job at this point and uh, i uh, i you know like i found out that after those two weeks when i got back in the game it's been a long time since i enjoyed building something so much <laughs> that I, it's it's understandable because uh, during the month of December, I was trying to build a whole Christmas themed park, and um, the scheduling was very, very bad. But what I wanted to say is that people need to take breaks. If you have something like this, if you like doing something and you're working on something epic, please do take breaks. It's just. Um, it's it's only natural for you to have a little burnout here and there. So uh, yeah, this is the this is the, the Tommy the psychotherapist speaking again. <laughs> and uh, what I was trying to do here was that I wanted to have the outer walls of the Colosseum, but these wall pieces they uh, needed to be certain, you know, like certain amount of uh, spaces apart and uh, they can only flatten the ground so much as you can see you know like right on the screen right now so instead of doing like th two or three rows that were like very wide apart I decided to do a lot of rows around the whole thing which turned out to be incredibly painful and I got reminded why sometimes this game might be over overwhelming because like literally all of these these wall pieces are around the whole thing and it's like half of the map which uh, was a challenge and not all of it is on the video not all of it is uh, over here because like towards the end I said to myself that the video would be too long anyway, so that's why I uh, I said to myself that I wouldn't record like building the 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 square for for the people. You know, we need to have squares for people, the uh, guest sections. Yeah, <laughs> I come I, I come off of this for two weeks and I forget all <laughs> all about it. <laughs> I forget how it's called. <laughs> But uh, one thing that I did during the winter holidays was that I opened Prehistoric Kingdom again. Yes, I had to brace myself so much. I had to be like, Tommy, you're brave. You can do this. And I actually built like two enclosures in there <laughs> for some smaller species. And it's still just like a random park. It doesn't have any, you know, like theme, like the things that I do here. And... Um, I would love to get into it more, but uh, I'm taking small steps. I'm taking small steps because I know that this game is not going to last forever, and the ideas and the limitations of this game are, you know, like at, at a certain point, I'm going to hit a halt. And uh, I, I still have a lot of things planned for this game. Uh, even without the mods, once I start modding, I'm going to go berserk on the game. Like, literally, it's going to like, it's going to look completely different, and I, and I cannot wait to do it. But first, I need to wait for the last update to come out. Like, it's uh, predicted that the last like update and DLC will be in June when uh, we have the 30th anniversary of uh, the Jurassic Park movie, which I am so excited about. Uh, I might actually do my own recreation of Jurassic Park when I was thinking about it for the 30th anniversary because I did the Jurassic Park San Diego. I did... Uh, a park based on Jurassic Park 3 
So now the only logical step would be to recreate Jurassic Park and then Jurassic World. Not really sure about Jurassic World, maybe one day, who knows. Uh, if you <laughs> have been with me on this channel for uh, quite some time, you know that I hate doing these recreations because I think that they limit me they uh, limit me uh, when it comes to you know like imagination and uh, creative thinking it's quite limiting i have to say uh, however when i do create these recreations when i uh, when i brace myself and do it and uh, get to it i usually have a twist or two up my sleeve to make it different to make it unique so uh if I'm ever going to do a Jurassic Park recreation, you can expect all kinds of twists and turns. It's going to be Jurassic Park, but it's not going to be Jurassic Park at the same time. It's going to have the essence of it, maybe the original tour, but I am going to make it mine. And that's what makes it exciting. You know, because for me, the most exciting thing is to look at a map and uh, try to like just go with the flow imagine things uh, of course sometimes you plan things like these for example this coliseum it was planned but for example the outer rows and the the thing with how huge the whole thing got that wasn't planned that was like that this was what i'm doing what, what you can see me doing on the screen now this was pure improvisation it was just I said to myself, okay, well, let's do this, do these outer layers and they will look good. They will look fine. So uh, why not? I mean, yeah, it's just going to take the better portion of my youth. But <laughs> what won't you do for uh, a perfectly looking structure? And what's really important about this build is that uh, you have the stone texture underneath because that's what like once i used the stone texture around the whole thing that's when it clicked that's when it was like oh yeah this is this now it looks like roman coliseum it does not really because it's it's a huge and it goes out for miles but uh, it's the best thing it's the closest that we can get to actually having something like a roman coliseum in the game and this was me trying to figure out like how many layers i'm still gonna need and then i kind of didn't figure it out exactly and then i had to redo a few things but never mind this wasn't the outer layer <laughs> but i don't have that on video because i was uh, just like okay i i it it would be too long anyway and you cannot just watch me plays all of these wall pieces one by one despite the fact that it was the better portion of this whole thing was just creating these these walls yeah but if you know me you know that i despite all the odds i will go that extra mile if you don't know me and you're finding me for the first time hello ladies and gentlemen Thank you for watching, thank you for clicking on this video. My name is Tommy and uh, I hope I'll see you here next time as well. Uh, because I have more stuff coming, I want to make a full park tour of this structure after I finish. I want to build a city around it. I want to build something around it so that the guests can actually arrive, they can have their facilities. But it would be too long and too big for just like this speed build. I wanted this to, I wanted to make a speed build out of this. I just didn't expect that it would take me five hours to build. Uh, or maybe even six. I'm not really sure at this point because I already started building a little bit of the city and I know that uh, on that save file there's like a, something l over six hours right now. So here I thought that I would create some structure to the inner structure as well to the inner circle structure to the inner structure <laughs> the inner circle as uh, well so I just like play some of the wall pieces inside some of the towers inside I put in some of the rocks you make it visually interesting to just not make it like you know it would be just sand but I love that we have this white sand and we can just put it in the middle and uh 
the Indoraptors are going to go at it. Uh, well, actually, they're not going to go at it because they, for some reason, refuse to fight each other. And when they were fighting each other, they were clipping through each other. So um, the whole fight scene was just like two Indoraptors uh, biting into the air while being one. <laughs> They, they were sharing this space. They were so considerate. <laughs> so, um, yeah. I placed some of these towers between the viewing galleries to make it visually interesting. Then I placed uh, some of these uh, rocks to uh, between the uh, lower row of the viewing galleries that to also make it visually interesting. I placed these stones oh my god i'm forgetting words i place these stones in a row to make it visually interesting to make like a corridor to like really uh make it look like uh it, it it's it's the best that we can do in this game when it comes to tunnels so <laughs> it's like a, it's like a channel for the dinosaurs to walk through before they rip each other to shreds and that those Indoraptors were not ripping each other, but well, 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 whatever. They did the social animation, it kind of looks like fighting, so you're gonna have the wow effect at the end when I show you uh, the final product. And as I was saying, I will finish this build, I will create a whole city around this structure with some few more dinosaurs and some more squares and stuff like that. And it's sort of like a black market kind of thing like uh market kind of park something illegal where you know like the guests come they pay for and seeing the dinosaurs massacred <laughs> which is really which is really sad i don't want to see my dinosaurs dying but <laughs> it's a game tommy grow up anyway <laughs> Uh, I think that we are slowly nearing towards the uh, final portion of the speedboat. We're just like adding some small details here and there, but we will proceed to the uh, final overview portion. I think very soon, but I just like cannot exactly remember where. Yeah, there's some some more trees being put down. Nope, not now. Is it? Never mind. How was your winter holidays, guys? Tell me how was your winter holidays in the comments and uh, uh, tell me which ancient civilization you would like me to cover next. So this is Rome. We're gonna have ancient Greece this month. We already have Egypt. We already have Atlantis. And this is the gate opening on the Interraptors. And also the gate opening in the Colosseum, in the fighting area, uh, area, uh, arena, <laughs> in the fighting pit. And here we have the Indoraptor, in in I'm, I'm sorry, the, my epic voice is kind of failing, Indoraptor walking towards the Colosseum, and now he's walking back because he doesn't have a sense of direction. And I had to put a feeder in the middle circle to actually get them there but then they started running and you can see him running right now so prepare for the battle after they have a snack now now he is preparing for the battle and he's running he's running he's running towards the other guy and they're stepping they're stepping one foot with the ones and we're not gonna see the fight because they were clipping but we're gonna see at least this. This kind of looks like a fight. Okay, go. Yeah. You can see Indoraptors fighting in the arena. Uh, arena? Er, er, <laughs> what, what did I say? I don't know. So this is the final overview, ladies and gentlemen. We will have a park tour where I will show you all the details. Stay tuned for that if you'd like to see uh, more of uh, this, more of the whole park, more of the structure and uh, how it's uh, built. But I think that I can slowly start saying my goodbyes. So thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching this video. My name is Tommy. If you like the video, please give me a like, comment, or share with your friends. And if you think that you will like my upcoming content, uh, please do, sub uh, do consider subscribing because there is much more coming. The park tour for this, for example, as well. So thank you again, ladies and gentlemen. Have the greatest of the days. Until the next time, 
Bye-bye.